This Can-Am air intake system is designed to increase vehicle power and acceleration by reducing restriction into the intake path. The 69-6546 intake kit fits the 2008, 2009, and 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution with a 2-liter engine, as well as additional vehicles identified on the K&N website or catalog. K&N power testing of this air intake showed a gain of more than 21 horsepower at 6100 RPM. With the kit installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The kit includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of the vehicle to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection and unhook the wiring harness from the airbox mounting locations. Loosen the hose clamps which secure the upper intercooler hose to the turbo outlet and intercooler inlet. Remove the upper intercooler hose assembly from the vehicle. Release the spring clamp which secures the bypass valve signal line. Then disconnect the bypass valve signal line from the bypass valve. Loosen the hose clamp securing the bypass valve to the intake tube. Then disconnect the bypass valve from the intake tube and set it to the side. Loosen the spring clamp which secures the crankcase vent hose to the valve cover. Then disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the valve cover. Loosen the hose clamps which secure the intake tube to the turbo inlet and mass air sensor. Remove the intake tube partially out of the vehicle and then disconnect the remaining vacuum line. Once the vacuum line is disconnected, the complete intake hose assembly can be removed from the vehicle. Remove the two plastic retaining screws and airbox retaining bolt which secure the fresh air scoop. Remove the complete airbox assembly from the vehicle. Remove the two bolts which secure the transmission engine lifting bracket and remove the engine lifting bracket from the transmission. Remove the two bolts which secure the mass air sensor to the air box. Then remove the mass air sensor from the air box. Remove the factory gasket and the two spacers from the mass air sensor. Open the air box halves then push the fresh air intake scoop out of the front air box half. Install the tube mounting bracket onto the transmission engine lifting bracket location using the factory bolt removed in step 11. Do not completely tighten the bolt at this time. Install the two 1 quarter inch NPT fittings onto the K&N intake tube. Install the silicone hose onto the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided edge trim onto the heat shield. Some trimming of the edge trim will be necessary. Install the two provided grommets into the heat shield. Install the heat shield assembly onto the factory airbox mounting location and secure with the hardware provided. Install the K&N intake tube onto the turbo inlet and align with the mounting bracket installed in step 15. Secure the intake tube with the provided hose clamp and hardware. Connect the factory vacuum line to the 1 quarter inch NPT fitting. Connect the provided crankcase vent hose to the remaining 1 quarter inch NPT fitting and then to the valve cover port. Install the provided silicone hose onto the mass air sensor and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the K&N filter onto the mass air sensor and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the mass air sensor assembly onto the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Cut the provided silicone hose to a length of 1.5 inches. Install the cut section of the silicone hose onto the bypass valve and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the bypass valve with silicone hose onto the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the factory vacuum hose to the bypass valve and secure with the factory hose clamp. Install the silicone hose onto the turbo outlet and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the remaining silicone hose onto the K&N upper intercooler tube as shown. Slide the hose completely onto the tube, but do not secure it at this time. Install the K&N upper intercooler tube into the silicone hose on the turbo outlet. Align it with the intercooler inlet. Slide the silicone hose onto the inlet 
then secure it with the provided hose clamps. Install the fresh air intake scoop into the heat shield, then secure it with the factory retaining clips. Clip the mass air wiring harness onto the heat shield, then reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. This intake kit is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check our website for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles and for a list of other CARB adoption states. k &N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The k &N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing typical horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy k and products, go to knfilters.com.